Well, Gaia, one company, one story. Welcome to another story and another video in my One Company, One Story series. This time, Gaia, previously known as Gaia. Here comes the amateur legalese. I began investing in companies and their stocks in the late 70s, but I'm not a certified investment professional. My style and history of investing is described in Dream Invest Live, a book I wrote by request, which came out as the Great Recession and the Second Great Depression began. Bad timing, eh? My personal finance blog, which is about my finances, is uh, trimbathcreative.net. So keep in mind, I am not an investment professional. This is not financial advice. This is just my approach to my personal finances. This time it's about Gaia. The company is also known as Gaiam. The company portrays itself as, and let's see if I can pull up that screen because you might want to just be able to read it for yourself down here. It's a member-supported media network of truth seekers and believers empowering an evolution of consciousness. Wikipedia describes it differently, which of course is not an official thing. It's just some people that are describing things, but they describe it as an American alternative media, video, streaming, service, and online community focusing on fringe science and yoga. So, some see fringe as far out there and the wrong place to be. Others see fringe and think that's the place to look for the changes that need to be made. And of course, some will see a business opportunity. Disclosure, I owned Gaia about a decade ago, and I've got a, a link to that whole history over here on my blog. Uh, several articles, but I can point off to uh, Investor Village where I've actually got uh, semi-annual reviews of that, and you can check that history there as well. But that, is, again, is less about the company and more about me, and I want to talk about the company, which wasn't going to be taken that long. Because Gaia is simple. It, it's got all-encompassing goals. They're going for uh, health and mindful living and things like that. Their products are media. They don't deliver health and lifestyles, but they deliver the media that helpfully helps their customers. As their website put it, it's over 8,000 ad-free streaming titles that challenge modern paradigms and allow you to manifest the reality that defines your being. And one could argue that the last few years have definitely been challenging modern paradigms and folks have been trying to find other ways to manifest uh, their reality because uh, the world is weird and has not slow down in that regard. So basically they're a media company that delivers media's uh, messages to customers. I sold in 2011 because they pivoted to that strategy rather than from the strategy which I originally was interested in. My initial interest was in Real Goods Trading Company, which was publicly traded at the time, of course, because otherwise how else could I actually have stock in it? And uh, it's a company that sold and sells alternative energy and lifestyle products to people who want to live off-grid either by necessity or by choice, though now off-grid is not always off on ranch land. It can be in somebody's backyard. Solar was a big component of their success and of their market. They were in the right place and ahead of the crowd, but possibly too early. I wanted to be invested in solar power. Gaia wanted to sell yoga mats and videos, and they were there as those sectors got busy. Well, were we both right? Uh, Real Goods is gone, at least as a publicly traded company. Guy is still there, traded. Uh, and what I find fascinating is that uh, just coincidentally, uh, recently I needed a yoga mat so I could do some stretching, and I bought one from Gaia. So haven't left them entirely. So much of what they're working on is... Uh, more subjective than objective, so I will point to the, the stock and show what's happened since, well, in its history, here at least it goes back 20 years or so. Thank you, Google Finance. I sold around 2011, and the stock was trading between like 5 and $10. Then somewhere along the line, it spiked up in the early 18, 2018 to over 20 and now it's fallen back under two, or a two, not under two, but 205 was the year's low. And I feel sorry for anybody that bought it at 20 and now has it at two. Today it closed at 351, 352. So timing matters. 
it's simple enough. Optimists can point to trends like yoga and an evolution of consciousness. Uh, these are trends that are becoming more obvious, uh, more, more mainstream in some regards. Getting yoga treatments at a, or having a yoga class in a company 30 years ago would have been really uncommon, whereas now it doesn't need to be explained. Pessimists can point to fringe science and whether it will be too fringe because a lot of these ideas do come and go. And uh, what was on the fringe is no longer in the fringe uh, or something that's been on the fringe that goes away. It's, it's a very dynamic environment out there and it's hard to, hard to really invest in something like that. I watch Gaia because there's a demand and a need for many, for many people to find alternatives to their conventional lives. And this is one place they can investigate that sort of thing. Or at least they will. Whether they, they succeed at it, I don't know. I come down to the, though, I wonder if Gaia will mimic real goods. Uh, the right product and maybe the right time, almost. Real goods is still in business, but isn't traded publicly. Um, Gaia has been looking weak as far as the stock goes, but as far as the revenues go, as I recall, uh, they said, here we go, that the, the growth is slowing. Hence, that may be why the, the stock price came down so much. But it may never go away because there's always going to be folks that want to find new answers to old problems or new answers to new problems. So with that, I'll, I'll leave it at it. Uh, it's uh, These videos are really to describe more what I see the people at the companies doing. Uh, the stock is something. That's one way to measure it. But I'm always fascinated by folks who are running businesses and showing up at or employees of businesses as well. And they're trying to get something done. And I think what uh, Gaia is doing is fascinating. It's, it's not dull. And uh, I don't know if it's going to catch a niche and do really well, or if it's just going to hang in there, or if it's going to, well, management can have problems and markets can have problems and who knows. But I am fascinated by what my friends say about the sort of topics they bring up. And uh, we'll see. So for that, I'll sign off so that you can see, get on to your next video, whoever that's going to be. Thank you for listening. And again, this is Tom Trimbath. This is, I'm not a professional investment financial uh, person, but I have a book, Dream Invest Live. I encourage you to, well, if you don't want to buy it, you can at least go out and get it at the library. That works for me too. Good luck.